Hello, Norway. This is John Hillmo. I'm a singer-songwriter from Seattle, Washington. And I'm going to come all the way to Norway to sing some love songs for you. Early in the morning, rising to the street. Light me up that cigarette. Now strap shoes on my feet. Music's a big deal to me. A lot of people have a hard time just fully being expressive. And music is a full expressive thing. You just let loose into that, and then there you are, in vibrations out into the world. So it's a really good way of communication just through emotion, straight emotion, straight self. Loving is what I got. I still remember that. Loving, yeah, is what I got. I still remember that. Is this everything we're not, you're not bringing? So long as pants. Yeah, we chose not, no, uh, not Muslims, okay. right? So when I was 17 and I had my, my son Kalel, who's actually named after Superman, his Krypton name was Kalel, and I was gonna name my son Kalel, and his mom mispronounced it once, and I thought to myself I wanted to have an original name, and she just made it even more original. So his name stems from Superman's Krypton name, hence him giving me the Superman bracelet. And you don't know how precious a kid is until you have your own. And so I got the, that opportunity twice. And then my daughter Elizabeth, at 19, I actually left high school a little early to start working full time. I had to step up and uh, providing for a family now. And I you know, definitely had to put my own dreams uh, that I had, my aspirations as, as a teenager of you know, doing my music and doing arts. So just providing, doing the family thing, and I was gonna get into it later. It was actually not all that hard um, being a father right off the bat, because me and the mom were together, and for the first four years, everything was actually pretty smooth. I worked hard and she stayed home. But when we split up, that's when things got real hard. So I'm gonna fly from Seattle over to New Jersey, the other side of the country. Okay. Uh, then there's the Pacific Ocean, and way up on the north end of the Pacific Ocean, on the other end, it's actually another body of water called the Norwegian Sea. There's Norway way over here. Heading out to Norway for a couple months. I hate to say it, I don't feel bad at all. They're excited for me, and I'm excited to come back and, and show them everything that their dad did. Well, technically, you're, you're going halfway around the world to find out all about your ancestors. Our ancestors. That's pretty determined. Yeah, I agree. I'm going for two months for something that's extraordinary. You know, the first thing my daughter said when I told her was, you need to bring me back a Norwegian uh, souvenir all excited. They're just so excited for their dad to go there. You know, they feel a part of it. And when I get back, it's just gonna be very joyous.